just like to introduce yourself quickly, uh, who you are, who you work for. Sure, I am Eleonora de Sabata from Med Sharks, a Med Sharks in association studying mostly sharks in the Mediterranean. I am originally a journalist, a marine journalist, turned to science because I'm very curious being a journalist and uh, there's so much to learn, so many unknowns in the Mediterranean, so that's uh, turned my curiosity into science making things. All right, that's already kind of leading into my second question. So why are you particularly interested in sharks? Ah, well, that's because I found out that sharks are more attractive to people than, I don't know, souls or uh, any other little crit critters. So if you have to look for funding, then it's easier to get it for <laughs> sharks than for souls or whatever. All right. Um, they're interesting. I'm just as interested in sharks as in, I don't know, whales, turtles, little critters. Ah, that's, yeah, that's very and good. And I talk a lot, so. Ah, no, that's perfect. Uh, so you can continue talking a little bit about the project that you're presenting today, the poster that you're standing next yeah. to. This is a very funny project. I like it so much. It's one of my babies. Um, that's because as a diver, I started diving, I won't tell you how many years ago, but a <laughs> long time ago. And uh, I have involved divers in this project. Actually, divers, citizens, are the main source of this project. Um, that's because one of these species, the nurse hound, this animal here, is one of the many sharks that we know very little about. We don't know how many there, um, there are and what do they do for a living. Uh, we know practically nothing. We didn't even know where they were laying the eggs, or where were they the most important uh, places uh, for these species. So I thought, well, divers know because we see their eggs uh, during mm -hmm. our dives. In the Mediterranean, all divers have seen these eggs, more or less, um, because these species in the Mediterranean, they lay uh, the eggs on attached to sea fans, usually below 30 meters, deeper than 30 meters. So I just asked people, divers, where do you see these things? And so I collected a lot of information and produced a map, the very first map of, um, of the breeding grounds of these species in the Mediterranean, in Italy. And that was thanks to a sponsorship from the Save Our Seas Foundation. Um, so uh, out of that very initial project, uh, we found out that the Bay of Naples is an area where there were a lot of eggs and particularly a sea mount called uh, the Santa Croce Bank. Apparently they had loads and loads of, sea, of um, eggs. So I went there to check and indeed there are a lot and realized that it was a fantastic place to go and study these species of which we know very little about. Um, so this is what we did. We involved a lot of divers, uh, organized bio blitzes in which I had divers help me tag these um, eggs. We put name tags and so you have <laughs> their oh, individual. Very so cute. the divers are actually feeling very responsible for their own little baby. I want to, the question is, we don't know how long it takes for the baby shark to grow in, uh, mm. in the egg and hatch. Um, the only information comes from aquaria and of course the length varies on the temperature you put your yeah. uh, tank in. So we wanted to know in the wild how long it takes. So we're tagging them and we're following their uh, growth. How do we do that? We just shine a light behind it and you can see it's very translucent, the egg, mm. so you can see the embryo developing. So far we've uh, tagged about 50 of them. Unfortunately, some have disappeared, magically disappeared. Uh, apparently <laughs> some divers didn't know what we were doing, so they took oh the shit. tag away. Which, which is a real pity because the, the one that we've um, uh, followed for the longest is called Skippen Island and we followed it for over seven months and I went there last weekend, I died there and it wasn't there anymore. Uh -huh. It didn't hatch, the, the whole sea fan was missing. So either it was a careless diver or maybe fishing, there are fishing lines there, so it got snapped away. Anyway, there are others that we're following so hopefully we will find out how long it takes. Develop. But the funniest thing of all, the one that is getting me really interested, um, is some of the eggs that I've been following. You can see this that's over the course of three months. Um, it was developing all right, the, the little embryo here, and you know, a little later it was empty. Yeah. And it had not hatched, it was at that stage, couldn't have come out. Then when I looked at it carefully, it had holes 
So now I'm trying to figure out who's eating my eggs. So we have, I'm collecting these, so there are different holes, they're probably different animals. Um, and then some eggs have cutting marks, so somebody else is eating them. And some divers have taken pictures of hermit crabs walking and staying for a while on the egg, so maybe that's responsible. Furthermore, I found a starfish, which was wrapped around one of the eggs, so possibly they're eating them as well. So, I don't know, it's fun. It's very interesting, and you definitely have a nice direction. I assume you're going to look further into the mortality later on, and do you have any other plans in the future with this project? Well, ideas come out as you dive, obviously, yeah. and, and you see what's happened. Uh, first of all, I really want to follow one of these um, eggs from day one till they hatch. Um, so that's basically where these are the guys that we're still monitoring. So mm -hmm. we'll, uh, we'll see the, the red ones and then there are others will still uh, keep tacking. And definitely still uh, very interested now in finding out who's, who's eating them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a very interesting <laughs> project. I'd love to come and dive. And yeah, please, no, please do. <laughs> please do. It's really a lot of fun. Hmm. And what's more, it's really one of the best dive sites I've seen so far in the Mediterranean. Trust me, I've been diving in a many places. That was my job for many, many years. This is by far the best one. Yeah, that's amazing. So rich in life and you have, of course, you have all these, but you have the red sea fans, uh, red coral, um, the black corals, and then you have loads of fishes and groupers. And then in summertime, the eagle rays come by, and then you have all year long little kind of sardines, that kind of sort of little fish. So you have all the other fish coming and eating them. Um, so you have jacks and uh, you name it, <laughs> it's a fantastic place. Uh, Besides, it's close to Naples, so when you go out, you eat pizza and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you so much. You should all come. <laughs>